In this episode, we share with you how we sorted a new mainsail for Kamara. If you watched the video of our passage from Fiji to New Zealand, you may remember that the clue on our mainsail broke. While we fixed it temporarily on the trip, but as the sail was already pretty stretched and baggy, we knew we needed to replace it when we were back in New Zealand. We found our last mainsail on a website called sailbrokers.co.nz. It's the largest online secondhand sales brokerage in New Zealand. While there's a vast amount of sales, it's slightly more challenging to find something suitable for the size of Kamara's rig. After we had no luck finding anything on here, we went along with Plan B and contacted the Sailing Trust that runs two of the other Whitbread yachts that are in New Zealand to see if they had anything suitable. As it turns out, there was a near new mainsail of one of them sitting unused in storage, so we took a drive down to Auckland to fetch it. The sail was really a bit too big, but in great condition, so it was worth making some alterations to it to fit Kamara. First, we needed to cut it down to size to fit our measurements, and at the same time, we cut and unpicked all necessary parts to be reused such as the foot spectra tape, the tack, the clue, and so on. At the same time, we removed our old mainsail and took off anything off the sail worth saving. Whether that was any hardware or the leech cord, and of course, all our batten holders that were going to be used on our new sail. Finally, the day had come to bring it all in to the local sailmaker who was doing the alterations for us.
With all the sewing alterations completed, it was time to get the sail back on board and start fitting all the hardware back on the sail. The first step was for Pete to fit all the batten holders back on the sail. We also bought a coil of new battens, so the next step was to cut and fit all the new battens. That meant first cutting them roughly to size and shaping one end to fit in the batten holders. Once each batten is fitted, we did the final cut to size, fitted the end caps and lashed them into their batten pockets. With all the battens fitted, the next step was to set up the new lazy jacks for the stack pack. Once we had all the reef lines in place, it was finally time to find out if after all that work that sail was going to fit. It was pretty nice to finally see it up and to know we now have a proper fitting full main, unlike our last mainsail which was actually slightly too small for the boat. We will show you the sail in action in our next episode when we once again set sail north to escape the southern latitude winter, so make sure you subscribe to follow along and thanks for watching. <laughs>